Hey, can, can, can you do it one time, just one time? There's, for, a, there's a question what? and answer period. Is he filming this? Yeah, he's filming. Because when I walked out of jail, I was like, this who, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Woke up quick at about noon. Just thought that I had to be in Compton soon. I got to get drunk before the day begins, before my mother starts. About my friends. About to go and damn near went blind. Young... 25 years later, South Central, still a classic, still resonates with so many people. I'm your host, Jay Styles, and I'm at Cal State University. We're here watching the screening, and we're talking with the cast. Be sure to tune in right here on EUR Web. Letters, no visits. I didn't even know the name. I was alone, Bobby. I didn't have no money, no car, no nothing. I had to go on the county. I cursed you. I hated you for leaving me. You know what else? I had the baby by myself, Bobby. By myself. It's so good to see you. Um, I watched the film again last night. I watched the film like three or four times before I saw it again last night. I mean, when you first auditioned for this film, did you think it was going to be so big? No, I had no idea that it was going to be a, a classic. You know, when the movie first came out, we had a lot of obstacles. It was a great piece, but a lot of people, unfortunately, judged it before they knew the history of it. You know, I heard, like, how well, Oliver Stone, he's going to be making a hood movie. But they didn't know that Oliver Stone helped to facilitate the movie getting to the big screen, Mr. Stone and Steve Anderson. But the story originated with an African-American educator named Donald Bikini here who wrote the book and so the screenplay was based on the book because he saw what was happening in so many neighborhoods with so many of our young people and um, I was blessed to get the part as OG Bobby Johnson's girl <laughs> And, uh, you know, life has truly, truly been amazing. When the movie came out, though, um, the timing was right after the, the L.A. uprising. And again, uh, people had prejudged the movie, not knowing of the great message, the empowering message that it had for fathers, for our communities, for our young people. But when it hit cable and the video and the DVD circuit, that was it. It really became a cult classic. So I'm blessed and honored to have been a part of this. I mean, is that loco? Ah. Why did this film, do you think, last the test of times? Well, you know, it touched people's emotions, and um, the film was very uplifting with the message in terms of, you know, those of us who you know, are from the hood and, 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 you know, who want to see our young kids do better in the relationship between, you know, in those dynamics between a father and a son and him willing to go through anything that he had to go through, you know, in order to save his son's life. That's what stuck with people the most. And I think it was a source of inspiration. Any of y'all know Jimmy Johnson? Hey, man, you better have an invite walking on this time. Listen up, man. I'm OG Bobby Johnson. You're Killer Bobby Johnson? You Jay Rock Daddy? When you watch this film, what do you think about 25 years later? Uh, first thing I think about is the riots. Because 25 years ago, the riots happened. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Because you guys filmed this right after the riots, right? Well, it came, in, it came out after the riots. After. It was actually uh, filmed before then. Okay. So when I think about uh, South Central, I think about the riots. The same year, 1992. You know, April 10th, you know what I'm saying, 1992, that was the riots. And then the movie actually was pushed back due to the riots. Wow. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know that, you know what I'm saying, to be honest with you. So the reason why I was 15 at that time, and the reason why uh, Warner Brothers, who was actually uh, distributed the film, they pushed it back that far wow. is because it was due to the riots. You know what I'm saying? That movie was supposed to come out a like about, I think, May or something. But, you know, April was the riots. So, you know what I'm saying, April 10th, you know what I'm saying? I used to look out my window in my little study in the street and I would see the characters that are in this movie, it's composite, some of them, and they would be doing what they're doing in the book. You know, these are based on real characters. That's why people say that movie's real. It was based on real people. Raymond Washington, Ray Ray, you know, Tookie Wims, uh, Monster Cody, all of those real people. I took pieces of them and put them into these characters, you know, and told the saga of South Central, 
you know, and I stood there and watched. I love L.A. I got songs about it. My, I raised all of my kids here, been very successful. I knew that it had to change and I wanted to have some input to it. That's what South Central is to me. One of the things that I was kind of pissed off about was that, you know, it didn't get the release and all the, you know, the accolades yeah. and everything, yeah. the movie theaters and, and all that stuff that, you know, people thought it should have got. I, I also thought, go ahead. But you know, I was going to say it didn't then, but now. But the thing is, you know. and here's the thing that pretty much made it worthwhile, because even though it didn't go to the movie theaters, it still reached a bunch of people. Like everybody still saw it. You know what I mean? And I didn't become a millionaire and I didn't get that Oscar I thought I should get and you know all that other blah 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 back in the day when we made this movie and all those things I wanted you know and I whatever you know I was gonna be the next Denzel after this came out and all that good old stuff. Um, it didn't happen but still in all you know it did do the things that I wanted it to do spiritually internally as a human being, I think it accomplished the things that, you know, we set out for it to accomplish.